I I finished the, the service. Hmm. Stephen Wong, do you have any question? Uh, well, actually, I wanted to ask previously, how do you know for sure who is the right person and who is the wrong person? Good question. Is there anybody with the answer before I answer? Sir. Lily Angie. I, I can answer. Okay. First, let's speak. Rubin, answer yes, please. You actually know it. You're just not so sure about it. You can oh. sense it. There is no way that you will not know who is right and who is wrong. And if you don't know, then you just wait for more time to have that discernment. There is no way you will not know. As like the prophetic pastor said, the family or whoever the closest knows your strength and the weakness and vice versa. That's my answer. Who else, who else can answer the question of Stephen? Sometimes you just feel it, <laughs> that this is not the right person. Okay. Let me give you the other answer. All the answers that you have said is correct, but here's the other answer. How would you know that this person is the wrong person? Number one, this is the answer, number one. Anything that you do, they want also to do it. Anything you achieve, they want also to achieve the same way. They are on competition with you, not that they are inspired by you. Wow. Mm. They want to do exactly the things that you have done or better than you. Just know they are very wrong people. Stay out. Right people, they are not forced to do what you are doing. They are grateful because you are blessed. If today you were to buy a beautiful car and one of your good friends, you have seen that his standard cannot afford to buy this car and is forced to buy a better car than yours, run away. <laughs> Competition. Mm. that's the easiest way to know the other thing how would you know the other answer how would you not say this person is wrong in my life when you do something good they will appreciate you they will appreciate you they appreciate you right now then after appreciating you they will go and tell other people what you have achieved Right people, they don't take your testimony to share on your behalf. They want you yourself to share to everyone. If you have done something, then somebody takes and share to people. That person is very much dangerous. Mm. What God has done for you, it is you yourself to share with us. Not me to share with your, your, your friends. No. It is you who God has blessed. So it's your duty to share your blessings with us, not me sharing your testimony to people. I'm a wrong person. Run away. Is that you, may not know. you may not know the other thing they said to those people when they were talking about your greatest achievement. Oh, God has blessed you with the car. No, no. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Pastor Veronica, God has blessed her with a big car. No, nowadays, she cannot even greet. You understand? Those people, when they are sharing what God has done for you to other people, they may add up a lie. Mm. A right person, when God has blessed you, when you tell them, they'll keep it to themselves, waiting for you to tell the rest. 
not them to have the capacity, the courage to talk about what God has blessed you with. They are wicked people. If you don't believe this, write it in your diary. Once it happens, you remember me.